90s nostalgia and a story that somebody online has described as Stand By Me Cross With Critters. Why not? Here's another recommendation for the book club. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dave Musson, at Dave Musson on Instagram, and this is a place where normally I talk to you about Stephen King, but well, this is the spin-off series, My Book Club, where if you checked out the first episode, you'll know this is me recommending books to you that I've loved and that I think you might enjoy checking out as well. So I'll give you a synopsis, a bit about the author, a review of the book, spoiler free of course, and I will try and align it to a Stephen King book to give you a frame of reference and decide for yourself whether you want to go and check this one out. If you do, do let me know what you think and also let me know what you think of this new feature in general. I'm still figuring it out, so any suggestions would be very welcome. This time we have another brand new release. This is out right now and it's the first of what I hope will be many indie horror authors being featured here. And I'm calling them indie horror authors because that's what they are. Yes, that means they're self-published, but self-publishing is still publishing. Trust me, some of the best authors you've never read yet are self-published indie horror authors. And I want them to be a strong part of this feature. So with that minor rant aside, let's get into this one. This is A.D. Jones's new novella, Born of Bloodshed. Okay, as I said, Born of Bloodshed is the new novella from A.D. Jones. And let's get into the synopsis. So, death truly had come to the village. Nothing exciting ever happens in the border towns of Scotland, and the village of Newcastleton, with a population in the hundreds, is no exception to the rule. That is, until kids start going missing and turning up dead and violently mutilated in the surrounding forests. A group of teens will be forced to put down their NES controllers, walk away from their VHS collections, and try to figure out what has descended upon their quaint little village. Born of Bloodshed from A.D. Jones, author of Sacrificial Waters, will transport you to 1990 Scotland for this terror-filled coming-of-age story which promises nostalgia, stomach-churning violence, and a group of teens that you will fall in love with. Perhaps don't get too attached. And again, while I'm reading stuff for you, here's a bit more about the author. A.D. Jones lives in the north of England, where he spends his time favouring books over people, and can be found writing or devouring said books to review online. He loves cola, Twin Peaks, cult movies and all things horror. He dislikes the movie The Karate Kid with a passion that burns brighter than the sun. I'm going to have to get him on the Concert Writers podcast at some point to ask him about that, aren't I? Earlier this year, he released the novel Sacrificial Waters, which I also very much enjoyed, and he also released Umbrate in 2023, which I have not read yet. So there's your background. Let's get on to my review of Born of Bloodshed. I had a blast with this nasty little 90s novella. The violence, the gore, the speed at which it moved all just combined to birth this absolute crackerjack of a story that I burned through in a matter of hours. I have to say I was instantly drawn into this quirky little Scottish town and in particular the creepy woods surrounding them and very quickly also became quite scared of what might have been lurking in those woods. So as with A.D. Jones's previous work, Sacrificial Waters, I was really impressed with how quickly he was able to pull together a group of friends and make me care about them within just a few pages. Like, that friendship group felt earned, it felt lived in, it felt real, and I just really enjoyed being part of it. And because of all of that, it makes the losses that we get in this story all the more impactful. And without wanting to give spoilers, trust me, there are losses. For a novella that comes in at under 100 pages, the body count is impressive. The villains in this are great, too. They're tiny, but they're terrifying. Like, you will never look at things like garden gnomes in the same way. And to be honest, you will think again about looking out of your kitchen window after dark, to be honest, at least for a few weeks after you've read this. The only thing I wanted more from in this story, really, was a bit more lore around those little critters. Like, I wanted to understand the backstory just a little bit more and see it more ingrained in the psyche of the town and be that sort of undercurrent bubble of fear. But who knows? 
maybe the author is going to come back to this. And the story itself, terrific. The action, excellent. The violence, yes. The gore, spectacular. So when it comes to aligning this to a King book, I guess there are two tracks you could go down. You could look at the friendship route and you could look at things like the body or the four dudes in Dreamcatcher. Heck, even the Losers Club in it. Like, the friendship group that A.D. Jones has drawn in this is is that good. And they're teenagers, so you've got that... You've got that naivete and the fact that it's a 90s piece as well it sort of blends with that nostalgia so it's all of those things that king is good at when he's doing his coming of age friendship pieces so there's one strand but then there's then there's the creature the terror that side of it and that's perhaps a little less obvious because king has not written anything with monsters like this in it but to be honest if you enjoy Night Shift and Skeleton Crew, the more Creepshow-esque, pulpy comic book stories in there, you're really going to love Born of Bloodshed, trust me. Even though the creatures are of a different type, we're talking words like crazy and carnage, and they meet perfectly in the middle, yeah. So to sum up, this novella is a perfect example of something that has horror and it has heart. And if you're looking for something that it's scary and gory, but also it's surprisingly heartfelt and nostalgic and full of coming of age and also full of teeth, then this delivers on all of those things. So Born of Bloodshed is out now. It came out on the 1st of October. It's available on Kindle. Huge thanks to A.D. Jones for letting me be one of his advanced readers in order to be able to review it. Absolutely go and check it out and give Sacrificial Waters a go as well if you like this, because that one, also great, also excellent friendships, also gory as heck. There we go. That's it. Without all of the preamble of me explaining what the book club is, this is kind of, this is kind of the length I was thinking for these reviews. So nothing overly long. I just want to give you a sense of what I thought and hopefully inspire you to go off and check them out yourself. So let me know what you think of this one. And if you do go and check out Born of Bloodshed, come back here to let me know. And also, particularly with my indie authors, review it on Amazon, review it on Goodreads, talk about it on social media. It's like 10 minutes of your time and a little bit of your effort that means the absolute world to these authors and is massively helpful in getting the word out there. So, yeah, support your indie authors and start that right now by checking out Board of Bloodshed by Eddie Jones. And then maybe check out my own collection once more. The sun. Hey, if you're still watching this far, I can plug my own stuff, right? Cool. Okay, and pick up my Cedar King band t-shirts. All of that stuff. Yada, yada, yada. Totally forgot to do that at the start. I'm rambling now. I will see you again soon for another edition of the book club.